Hi, I'm Drew Moyer, and this is how to solve domain and range with logarithms. As long as the base of the logarithm that we're working with is greater than 1, we know the domain is going to be defined by the vertical asymptote of the graph. So let's take a look at our equation. We have y equals 11 plus log base 7 of x plus 4. So again, I'm going to need to find where the vertical asymptote is in order to find the domain of this graph. So I know that we can't take the log of zero or negative numbers, so I know that x plus 4 has to be greater than zero. So now I'm just going to simply solve the inequality, subtract 4 from both sides, and I get that x must be greater than negative 4. So I know that once the graph hits negative 4 as an x value, there's going to be a vertical asymptote that protrudes the graph from going any further to the left. So I know that the domain must be x is greater than negative 4. And for the range, the range of any logarithm function is very easy. It's always all real numbers, which I can write in interval notation like this, negative infinity to positive infinity, meaning that there's going to be no restrictions at all on the y values of this function. I'm Drew Moyer. And this is how to solve domain and range with logarithms.